Hi, I'm Walt Medlock. I'm an application engineer with Advantech, and I'm here to talk about our Ethernet IP demo panel. Ethernet IP is an industrial Ethernet protocol and was developed by Rockwell Automation and managed by ODVA, which is the Open Device Net Vendors Association. In order to display the Ethernet IP logo on a product, it has to have been conformance tested and approved by ODVA. All the Advantech I.O. products shown here have been ODVA approved and are listed on the organization's website. Ethernet IP is based on the Common Industrial Protocol, or SIP, which we will talk a little bit more about. What we have here is a PLC from another vendor, and we have Remote I.O., which is Ethernet IP. We have another form of Remote I.O., which is Ethernet IP, an industrial Ethernet switch, and an HMI product that is talking Ethernet IP. Everything here is connected to this PLC and communicating through the Ethernet IP protocol. And we'll go a little bit more in depth to this now. Okay, the first piece I want to talk about is the WebOP 2080T. This is our low cost HMI product. And all sizes have the ARM9 processor and a full 65,000 color TFT LCD display. To program this machine, it's, uh, it requires a software which is free and downloadable from our website. There's no runtime costs, and the communication link between this and the controller is a SIP based Ethernet IP tag based protocol. It's a protocol specifically for this PLC. And as you can see, when you touch this, it will control some of the different uh, I.O. on the controller. And there's also I.O. reflected on the screen itself. The next piece that we want to talk about is the, uh, the APAX 5072. This is Advantex Ethernet IP coupler. It's a communication coupler that has uh, two ports and is a uh, Ethernet IP conformance tested and approved. And this coupler is connected through a backplane to these I.O. modules. These are APAX 5046 digital output modules. Now the, the APAX product line can be connected on a backplane. And here I have a sample of the backplane. As you can see, they just plug together. There's two slots each. They can be together or separated, and if they're separated, then at the bottom they have Ethernet ports right here. This Ethernet communication is a proprietary communication, and it's high speed, and it's just only to be used for the communication for the I.O. back to the coupler. The coupler has two processors in it. One is to handle the Ethernet IP communication, and then there's a separate DSP that handles the communication to the I.O. itself. Therefore, it gives you a nice high-speed communication to your I.O. and back to your controller for remote I.O. Now, when I talked about having the two separate Ethernet ports, this in itself lends it to having a remote I.O. capabilities. So if you added this to your system, then this coupler would really be the only coupler you needed and then it can have some on the back plane and then others as you see the connector below can be remotely mounted but your controller only has to be connected to one coupler. Now we have other couplers in this product line as well. There is a WinCE based controller which is its own pack controller. We have a Modbus TCP coupler and we also have a Profinet coupler. What you see here, which is connected directly to the back plane through this connection right here, is a power supply. This power supply will support up to 72 watts at 24 volts. And uh, if you don't want to use this power supply or if you have remote I.O., you can see from the back plane that you can connect your power to any of the back planes that are on the network. Next, we have the, the Atom 6100 series EI uh, remote I.O. They have two ports on the top which allows them to be daisy chained together. These are also connected to this controller right here and this controller is running it. So if I touch 
something on the panel here, it's going to send a signal into the PLC. The PLC will send a signal out to here, which will turn on one of these IOs, as you can see from me touching these uh, buttons on the screen. The, uh, this one here is an analog input, and this one here is 8 digital in and 8 digital out, and that's the Atom 6150 EI. EI standing for Ethernet IP. And uh, finally, we have the, uh, all of this is tied together with this industrial Ethernet switch. This is uh, the ECI 2548i, which is an 8 port managed Ethernet switch with wide temperature range from minus 40 to 75 degrees C. Offers great redundancy capability with X ring, dual homing, coupler ring, and RSTP, STP. It has a, a redundant uh, power input, so there's two 12 to 48 volt power inputs, and then it also has one relay output. And everything could be configured via a web interface on this, uh, on this uh, switch. So that, that's an overview of our uh, Ethernet IP demo panel. Uh, thanks for watching.